there. My name's Karen. What's yours? Ashley. What'd I tell you about talking to strangers? She's not a stranger. She's Karen. Dr. Karen Kavanaugh. I'm the researcher from Eastern State. Oh my god. That's yeah, a damn shame. Trying to offload the meat, you know, make up for what I lost in wool, but who's gonna buy poison sheep? What does this one do? What about this one? Ashley, is Dr. Cavanaugh alone? It's okay, I could use a research assistant. And what about this one? That analyzes soil samples to see if there's anything in the ground that might be poisoning the animals. And this one. That checks for pesticides or any other poisons that might be sprayed in the crops. And this is just a camera for taking photos. Ashley? 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 What happened? I don't know. I looked up and she was down. She's barely breathing. I don't have a signal. Dr. Rome's office is just on Main Street. Come on. We need a hospital. The closest hospital is two hours away. Bring her back here. Pulse is strong. She's breathing steady now. From what you said on the phone, I'd say this is hypercapnia. But I never heard of anyone getting carbon dioxide poisoning in an open field. Are you sure she wasn't locked inside somewhere? Cameroon. What's that, miss? Oh, thank you. There she is. How's my baby girl? I'm not a baby, Dad. <laughs> I was afraid I wouldn't be able to finish my work without my assistant. Do you have a computer I can use? I need to check the internet. Back here. There's this lake in Cameroon. Hey. Look at that. Regular programming will resume following this breaking news. A mid-Pacific earthquake has now been confirmed. And there are growing reports of a coastal disaster. What you're seeing is video from our San Francisco affiliate, just moments before the satellite link went down. It seems everything south of Sacramento has gone dark. All oh phone, my. internet, and satellite communication was lost almost simultaneously about a half hour ago. The Early going reports on? of the possible collapse of the West Antarctic ice sheet remain unconfirmed. It appears to be a major seismic event and a situation that is still developing. What we know so far. What is this? I'm Davis. No, I know it sounds like a last name, <laughs> but it's not. It's my first name. Oh, this is Aaron. Aaron, relax. If 
I can take off in a Black Hawk under fire in Fallujah, I think I can handle News Chopper 9 with a hangover. Hangover? like that all the way up the coast. At least as far as we went anyway. And it couldn't have just been a wave. It went on forever. Like the sea levels rose, you know? But all at once. We headed inland at Santa Rosa. Refueled at Reno, but there was an earthquake there and it's exactly the same in Boise. Boise? Well, where were you headed? Well, I've got family in Bozeman, but it looks like I pushed my chopper a little too hard. Well, you're more than welcome to stay here as long as you like. You'll be safe. Mayor, that may not be the case. Dr. Kavanaugh, was it? Uh, Karen. Have you ever heard of Cameroon? Cameroon. Back in the 80s, thousands of villagers near Lake Nyos were asphyxiated, just like Barnes' sheep. It was carbon dioxide. It hovers off the ground no more than three or four feet, which is why Ashley was affected, but not us. What's causing it? Lake Nyos is in the crater of a dormant volcano. We don't have a volcano. Well, that's not true. Yellowstone is 90 miles from here. All those hot springs, I mean, that place is one giant volcano. You think Yellowstone's a threat now? Look, I am just trying to piece together what happened to Ashley, the sheep, and now their story. How does a tsunami have anything to do with a volcano and dead sheep? The news report that was on before the TV went out. It said that there was a massive underwater earthquake, which would explain the tsunami. The weight of that much water shifting on tectonic plates could strain Yellowstone to the breaking point. OK, but you don't know this for sure. After what I've seen today, I'd be inclined to take any warning. Look, I wish someone could tell me I'm wrong. Do we know that everything's down? Landlines, cell phones, internet? How about a CB or a ham radio? Oh, no, not him. Why does it always have to be him? Friendly. Not one of these survivalists. Uh, please, don't use that word. Or prepper. Hey, Miss Cade! It's Mayor Wally! Amos! We're here because, well, I... I know why you're here. So y'all can just turn around and back away from my property. It's an emergency. Yeah, I'll say it is. Teotihuacan, the end of the world as we know it. I'll give you the count of 10, Wally. State of emergency rules, I can confiscate it. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What, are you trying to set him off? I knew when it finally happened, I'd be getting an unwanted knock at my door, Wally. I just never figured you'd have the guts to do it. Hi, Mr. Cade. My name's Dr. Karen Kavanaugh. We need your help. Doctor, huh? Why don't you go ask your insurance company for help? I'm not that kind of doctor. I'm a scientist, and I think we might be in real danger here, so if we could just use your radio. You're unprepared. And it finally hits the fan, the phones and the computers are down, and you figure you'll just confiscate what's mine? I'm sorry. The chief shouldn't have said that. See, this concerns you, too. If I'm right, your safe house might not be so safe after all. Don't patronize me, doctor. I'm not one of these country yokels. Yellowstone. She thinks it might be priming to blow. I'm not a conspiracy nut, either. Mr. Cade, Farmer Barnes lost a herd of sheep to CO2 venting, an early warning sign of volcanic activity. sure about that? No. That's why I'd like to borrow some time on your radio.
Wally, you ought to let the lady doctor do all your talking, and I lose the whirly bird. I can still hear you. Yeah, I know. Anything yet? Just some crazy rumors and conspiracy theories, though this is Cade's radio. What do we know for sure? Nothing good. One guy claims that Seattle's underwater and eastern Washington's under martial law. Yeah, and there's talk of a refugee crisis in New Mexico and Nevada. Anything about Yellowstone? Farmers east of Idaho Falls, west of Cody, Wyoming, and south of Livingston, all with dead livestock. Nothing from the authorities. Just the emergency broadcast recording on the military frequencies. Hope you're not counting on the military. I did for two tours in Afghanistan. Combat infantry, Desert Storm 91, Whirly Bird Man. You're really good with nicknames. Even without confirmation from FEMA or civil defense, I think Karen's right. <laughs> this is a high school science teacher. Yeah, I think I know what I'm talking about. And you really think Yellowstone's gonna blow? Even if it's not a full-blown eruption, this valley could experience catastrophic quakes, gas pockets, hydrothermal explosions. If the wind's blowing in the wrong direction, an ash cloud could poison the air, the reservoir, or more CO2 venting, and one morning nobody wakes up. We've been reviewing these geological maps. Our best bet is to head for higher ground in the Rockies north of here. Evacuate? If I'm right, everything within 100 miles of the caldera is dead. No warning sign, no time to evacuate, just dead. When it blew up last, what, half a million years ago? 640,000. It was an area the size of Los Angeles. It seared the earth as far as the Tetons and south to Jackson. It was the equivalent of 10,000 Mount St. Helens. With all due respect, Dr. Cavanaugh, we're talking about a half a million years ago? Barnes' sheep died two days ago. Do you want to wait until lava's rolling down Main Street? Look, this thing is fed by a molten magna hotspot underneath the Earth's crust. It extends in a southwest direction across the Idaho-Montana border. We are right in the line of fire. How much time do we have? Even if I had USGS data, it would still be a guess. Karen, what do you think? Twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours? <laughs> I'd say go now if I thought that was remotely possible. Come see this. I can't just leave my farm. Mr. Barnes, what happened to your sheep was a warning sign. Our best bet is to head north into the mountains for the protection of the granite bedrock. Why not a city? Yeah, Spokane yeah. or Boise? Yeah, yeah. The coast is flooded, and the inland cities are choked with refugees. And I saw Boise. It's a hole in the ground. Who ordered this evacuation? Is it a federal thing? Well, actually, I'm ordering it. Oh. Mayor, are you sure about this? Shouldn't we wait until we contact the authorities? Wait until when? Until it's too late? I was in San Francisco. We had no warning. You really think my dead sheep means we got to evacuate the whole town? I do. You all saw the giant crack outside the school. We stay here, we die. Out there, at least, we have a chance. Everybody, calm down. We don't need someone else to tell us how to react to a crisis. We are intelligent people who can reason and deduce. I don't need a government committee to tell me when I'm in danger. Don't wait for someone else to hand it to you. Be the hero of your own story.
preparations for the evacuation of Pleasant Creek are now underway. Exodus. Residents are gathering all the food, water, and medical supplies they can carry for the exodus of Pleasant Creek. She does know that she's not on the air. Yeah, but someone's got to tell the story, right? Let's just hope someone's left to hear it. Grab anything non-perishable and see if you can find first aid kits in the pharmacy. Oh, I know what you're going to say. You have to find a way to make everyone go. What more can we say? Do you want me to force people to go? I don't have that kind of manpower. All I can do is order the evacuation. I can't force people to do it. There has to be something we can do. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? Maybe we are overreacting. Oh, come on, Wally. Not you two. I hope it's enough. I and mean, this is going to be the most valuable resource out there. People might even kill for it. What do you think they're going to do when the food runs out? The water? Just get them to the mountains, all right? You'll figure out the rest as you go along. Just face one disaster at a time. You mean as we go, right? You're not coming? I've got a sister, a nephew in Bozeman. I, I got to see if they're all right. Just keep an eye on Cade. <laughs> He's all bluster. He might be playing nice now, but if things get rough, he could be a very dangerous man. That's what's dangerous. A little spark or something, a lightning strike, and it's a rolling death trap. <laughs> I wish you were driving it. <laughs> well, thanks. I may have flown Blackhawks in Afghanistan, but even I'm afraid of this. <laughs> What? <laughs> Aaron said to time how long it took you to bring up Blackhawks. <laughs> <laughs> They'll listen to you. How do you know? Because I would. What's going on? I'll give you two guesses, but you only need one. Kate? Jesus Christ! Kane, what the hell are you guys doing? Protecting what's mine. They're trying to steal from me. Nobody's stealing from you, you crazy bastard. We're just taking inventory. What's mine is for me and my own. But what if I felt that way? You're not gonna sweet talk me, darling. You ain't got nothing to protect. Without the rule of law, first they come begging, then they come demanding. Well, your welfare state is over. You can't take what's mine just because you didn't think ahead. Look, Kate, we're all in this together. Says those with nothing to contribute. You just figured since you could sucker me out of my radio that I was just a sucker.
But we can't stop here. Oh, maybe I should go back. I could get in a truck and I can see if there's anybody. Karen, there's nothing to go back to. That's what you have to keep it together. We gotta keep moving. How's Ashley? Is having Diana with her? She's pretty broken up. You too scared to keep riding the death trap? <laughs> I gotta go. I understand. I know how to get to Triple Divide. Maybe I'll see you there. Take care of yourself, Davis. Remember what I said about Cade? Where's he going? Something he needs to find out for himself. Is he coming back? So it looks like we take the I-15 to Dillon, then take uh, Highway 43. Uh, hold on. Yeah. See, the problem is, all this through here, uh, that's more dangerous than where we came. I guess we could get off the I-15 on 278, loop around. I just don't know any other way that doesn't take us on the I-15, at least part of the way. I do. Where's your bad area, doctor? OK, that's easy. Then you take Blacktail up to Dillon or the 278. It keeps you off the I-15. Yeah, but how do we get to Blacktail? But there's a mining access road that runs parallel. He's past the next junction, 9 or 10 miles up. <laughs> how do you know about that? I was looking at some land up there for a BOL. And I got priced out by some Hollywood types. I have absolutely no idea what you just said. BOL is a bug out location. I did a story on one of those prepper apocalypse shows. Yeah, those shows are all garbage. It's propaganda. See, so preppers. Are you sure about this road uh, in the property that you bought? I didn't buy it. I couldn't afford it. You know, Yellowstone is so dangerous. Why is the land there so expensive? I thought this whole volcano thing was just a real estate scam, a cover story to scare people off, you know? A conspiracy, huh? Blacktail, 278, I'm sure. Amos. Doc? I'm really glad to have somebody like you on our team. We're not on the same team. We're just traveling in the same direction. We lost a lot of the food, so make it last. There you go. Are you? You doing okay, sweetie? Yep. There you are. Thanks. Why does she get so much? She's 10. Every time I think there's a decent human being in there, he does everything he can to prove me wrong.
Get out of here, man. This house is mine. This house belongs to my sister. Nothing belongs to nobody no more. Trust me, you don't want to be here. No, you don't. pockets now. Look. Now! Okay. Here you go. Before there's another earthquake. Back in the truck. That's right, Karen. We gotta go. Under the skirts of mother government. 
to feed and clothe How can you be the only one broadcasting? All right. Does anybody actually believe all this crap? <laughs> in exchange for an empty promise of security. Where's that security now? Where's the government that said it would protect you? Finally, someone speaking the truth. So where is this Damn name? straight. They're all holed up in their mountaintop fortresses, or their private space stations, just waiting for the rest of us to go feral, destroy each other. Hey, hey, can we take this to Ashley? Oh, yeah, no problem. Thanks. Where'd you find that? Hey, pass it here. You're holding out on us? Hey, Miss Kate, I'm disappointed in you. Darling, share and share alike ain't how this is gonna play out. Now, you're a smart girl, you know that. We need to work together. <clears throat> hey. Now, I told you before, what's mine is for me and my own. I thought so. Why don't you just scamper off back to camp? You can keep playing Commander-in-Chief all you want. Just remember one thing. Ain't no one ever ruled over me. And no one ever will. Well, go on. What are you waiting for? She's waiting on me. Hi, Davis. I missed a lot. Mr. Whirly Bird, let's see if you have the guts to pull the trigger. I ain't afraid of dying. Anyone who stockpiles guns, hoards food, and booby traps his own home is terrified of dying. It's okay, Davis. It was just a little misunderstanding. He was pointing a gun at you. And now you're pointing one at him. Let's just call this even and Talk about it tomorrow with clear heads. Ain't nothing to talk about. Doc. I took your measure tonight. I know how far you'll go. You can't say the same thing for me. You remember that the next time you sneak up on me in the dark. Let's go. If anywhere is safe. Let's just hope whatever's gonna happen here already happened. Do you hear that? Is that? There!
it's Ashley. Ashley! Karen! Karen! What happened? Ashley screamed. That was him. Uh, it's my fault. I caught them off guard. I didn't mean to scare them. What are you doing here? Exercising my right to free speech? Wait a second. You're the conspiracy guy. The one on the radio. Conspiracy guy? That's what I get? Conspiracy guy? Huh. Yeah, well, yeah, that's me. I used to broadcast out of my house until they figured out what I was all about. Then my place was bugged. Harassing phone calls, black helicopters. Shh. Maybe they did me a favor. If I wasn't here when the whole damn town went to hell, I wouldn't be here at all. Do you know what's going on? What happened? Well, I, I won't pretend that it isn't bad. It's bad. Oh, wait, but I can show you. I was able to download these before the grid collapsed. This can't be possible. It's really all gone. I just can't believe it's really this bad. We all know this was man-made, right? They let this happen on purpose. They knew. I told you so, but I told you so. I mean, I've been talking about this for years, for years. What about the rest of the world? Have you heard about anything from Europe or, or Asia? Total blackout. It's exactly what they want. Everyone in the dark. Who exactly are they? Them. The Royal Bay. The Illuminati. The New World Order. Puppet masters that control everyone. The CIA, DARPA, the, 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 the Kremlin. And what exactly do they do? Area 51, MK Ultra, GM crop manipulation, weather control, mind control. You think that's fluoride in the water? And the damn chemtrails, pumping chemicals in the atmosphere, making us all impotent. <laughs> Maybe it's making you impotent, Sutton, but my gear works out just fine. <laughs> No, Vince, this is where you and I disagree. I just don't believe that government workers are clever enough to run a conspiracy. They sure as hell don't care enough. I actually agree with you, Mr. Cade. Did you assume I was just a conspiracy nut? <laughs> It's in the south, right? And there's uh, an ancient, like that, that might have been before the planet shifted on its axis and the ice cap moved. That was like 
It could have been Atlantis or Lemuria or Mu. Or, but anyway, it was like a major alien base. You missed all the conspiracy talk. Lucky me. Hey, I wanted to thank you for coming back. You saved my ass. What's he doing? What is all this? I mean, in hearts and minds, you know, I'm not sure what his play is, but I'm pretty sure he's laying the groundwork for a coup d'etat. Hey, everyone. Got a little surprise I've been saving. Thought I might share it with you all. Why do I have such a bad feeling about this? Because you're smart. I'm glad you're here. Together we've got a dozen cans of food, a handful of water jugs. We should fill up what we can before we get out of here. Let me see what I can do. Well, we got the truck running, but. For how long, I don't know. Not enough fuel to get two vehicles up there anyway. We'll figure something out, Wally. Aaron? Aaron, you okay? I found this. Well, why don't you go see if it'll do any good, sweetie? How is she? knee or a paper cut. I just 
I don't think there's anything else I can do. She's already septic and she's burning up with a fever. Isn't there any, anything? Make her more comfy, I guess. Is she in pain? I don't even think she knows where she is. Isn't that cruel? I'm gonna go see if there's some broth or something we can give her. on a pile of dirt and pray for flowers. Do it. <laughs> Is everything okay? I thing to do you all knew it but no one had the courage to do it the leaders got to be willing to do what needs to be done and that includes deciding what to do with these bodies can't count on any more pig meat you son of a bitch into those mountains with no food, you'll realize the mistake you made. No mistake, choice, not to be an animal. I don't take any joy in the idea of eating human flesh. But if it's between that and dying, I'll do whatever I have to do to survive. See, that's a line that you won't cross, but I will. And I'll outlive Every single one of you, and you know it. Get in the truck, Karen. You confiscate my gun. We gave you a fair share cut of the supplies in the office. We need a gun to defend ourselves. It's not my problem anymore. Damn it, Cade. What do we do now? We follow them. On foot? You know any shortcuts? I don't know any shortcuts. I'm a survivalist. I make them. the food and the water. Save it for Ashley. We have no choice. We need supplies. Then I guess we risk I-15. Hopefully we'll come across a truck stop before it too long.
sweet, merciful heaven. Oh, she stinks. Looks like she killed herself. Check the glove box. Bingo. I'll never understand what happens to a person who makes them lose the will to survive. Some people just lose hope. It's not about hope, Radio Man. It's about will. Time you should start asking yourself how far are you willing to go? Somebody's already bypassed the electronics. I think I can get the pump working. We'll make it fast. Whoever set this up could come back. We're not the only ones looking for fuel. Somebody's coming! Just fill the pickup. We'll leave the truck! Maybe they're friendly. We gotta go! What? We think somebody's been living here! Yeah, I know, and they're back! Come on, we gotta go now! Let's go, actually! Let's go, sweetie! They're not friendly! We gotta get that shaft out of there. <laughs> ah. I'm serious. If we leave it in, it'll get infected. And if we take it out, I bleed to death. Not a lot of good options here. Are you sure we're still heading west? We're heading west. But how do you know? I mean, this whole thing could be some kind of magnetic reversal, right? Uh, north and south switching polarities, even compasses would be useless. The sun still sets in the west. Right. You taking a break? I can sure use it. No breaks for you, Mr. Shortcut. Here. Oh no. Oh man, this isn't good. 
we're, we're gonna have to double back. Dude, we can't get through this. You promised me a shortcut. Well, I mean, I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? What the hell are we supposed to do now, Kate? We keep moving. We stop listening to anything this dumbass says. How was I supposed to know? You better find some hidden talents if you want to stay useful to me. should stop. I'd rather see a clip before driving over it. It's thick, but I can see. You, what's that smell? Like burning matches. That's sulfur dioxide. CO2 must be bonding with the water vapor. Should I pull over, wait it out? No, no, it could be toxic. Enough of a concentration, you get sulfuric acid. Let's just see if we can push through it, okay? Oh, what the hell? What happened now? I, I, I didn't do anything. It just stopped. Pop the hood. <coughs> Are you okay? Keep the window closed. All the plastic is melting. <coughs> it's melting. The car is melting. What the hell is this? The <laughs> sulfur. Whoa, Nina! I need help. Get out of here now. Go. Stranger? I didn't think you were coming back to us. How are you feeling? Good.
Davis, can you see? Do splotchy blurs count? In this case, yes. Then no. I can't see. <laughs> How else are you doing? How's your stomach? I gotta be honest, Karen. I don't feel too good. I'll get you some water. No, no, don't, don't, don't go, don't go. Don't go. I hate to do this to you, Karen, but you're just gonna have to be stronger, all right? Stop it. I get them there any way you can. <laughs> Especially Ashley. She, she deserves to have a life. In a couple of days, you're going to feel so embarrassed about this speech you just gave. I really wish I had met you before the end of the world. Don't do this, Davis. You know, it's funny. All these Black Hawk missions, and I get taken out by a little mist. <coughs> David. Davis. looking for some people that pass through here. Don't worry, we don't want any trouble. Hey, hey, there's no need for that. Maybe we can help each other. You got something I want, I got something you want. You tell me what happened to the folks in that truck, and I'll serve you dinner. What? <laughs> Dinner served.
fish in there? It's a river wally, a beautiful mountain river. <laughs> oh, let's go. After what we've been through, it seems this is the finest meal I've ever had. <laughs> Clean water, stars in the sky. If this is the new world order, help me in. I wonder if they made it. Kate probably ate them. That's not funny. <laughs> He might have. <laughs> I like Vince. He wasn't such a bad guy. Crazy. <laughs> but. The world was a scary place even before all this happened. For some, it's easier to have someone else to blame. It was them. They did it. Makes it seem less random. Maybe you don't have control, but somebody does. Anyways, we should all probably snuggle in and get some sleep. Tomorrow we gotta start on shelter. Actually, hadn't screamed, he would have killed us all in our sleep. Okay. Forget the others. Listen to me very carefully. Get them and head up river as far as you can, and don't stop until you find some place with some cover. Oh. I'll catch up to you if I can. The last thing Davis asked me was to make sure that Ashley got a chance at life, and I'm gonna do that. Karen. I'm not losing anyone else. I think all this survival stuff's gone to your head. How are you gonna handle Cade, huh? I may not be a survivalist, but at least I'm prepared. Get them to safety, Larry Vogel. I'm counting on you. Bringing that bottle with you. I knew friends weren't happy about having to give it up. You okay? Don't worry about her. She's just fine. Let her go, Kate. This sweet little lamb. I don't think I could bear doing that. She's just cute enough to eat. So why don't you put that scatter gun down? Because you're making those boys twitchy. Come to me, Ashley. Come on over here. Don't. 
This isn't something you can win, Karen. It's not a negotiation. There's nothing you can offer me that I couldn't just take from you. And what is it that you want, Cade? I want my radio back. You know, if it wasn't for you, I'd be safe and sound with all the comforts at home right now. If it wasn't for me, you'd be dead. In a hole in the ground where Pleasant Creek used to be. Don't bet on it. I'll tell you one thing, I wouldn't be out here, in the middle of nowhere, with nothing to eat. If you're mad at me, take it out on me. Let the girl go. It's not gonna happen. And you took everything from me. And now I'm taking everything from you, and I do mean everything. You know you were wrong, Kate. Wrong about what, Karen? Being a leader isn't about who's willing to take it the furthest, or choosing the right path. It's about how far's too far, and knowing when to stop. I'll write that on the mark if we leave over your bones after we licked them clean. They found us. Come here, Ashley. Come on, let this nice lady take a look at you. You sit next to Mayor Wally. It's, great. Oh. it's okay. They have to check us out before they let us in. And where? Who are they? They won't really see. But it's them. Just like Vince said. A new world order. They have a bunker that goes down 20 stories. I don't care who they are as long as we're safe. They could use some of lab out now. So we trade our freedom for security. Kate was right about one thing. You're conspiracy nut. <sighs> What was that acronym Katie used to use? 
Tio Toki or something? Tio Tawaki. The end of the world as we know it. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. It's gonna be a long 